at the school of a young girl who was killed in a tragic car accident. Teachers, students, and her family are trying to come to terms with her death. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live at the scene of the crash in Northwest Miami Dade. Amber. Good afternoon to you, Riel. Yes, we spoke to the victim's sister in a very emotional interview this afternoon. She says her family for the last 48 hours have been calling relatives to break the news to them in Haiti. They've only been in the States for two years. Tuesday morning would be the last time Naima Philogene would see her little sister, Lapsha, a middle schooler at Thomas Jefferson. I'm by myself. <laughs> she was getting on the bus when she got the news. Her only sibling was gone, killed in a three-car crash at Northwest 163rd Street and North Miami Avenue, just seconds from their home. The police told me, I know he's going to hurt. I'm going to talk to you like an adult. Um, your sister went to an accident this morning. Police say the girl was in this Honda CRV with family sitting in the back seat when it collided with two sedans. While investigators are still unsure who's at fault, Naima tells us her sister was not wearing her seatbelt. In the front, we got to always wear a seatbelt, but when we're in the back, they never told us wear, um, wear a seatbelt and stuff. A total of seven people were hurt in the crash, including two adults who were critically injured, two with non-life-threatening injuries, and three others who were treated at the scene. Superintendent Alberto Carvalho posted this tweet upon hearing the news. My heartfelt condolences to the family of Lapsha Philogene. We will have grief counselors at her school to assist her classmates in coping with the pain of this loss. Next Sunday, I was supposed to sing at the church. It's a pain Naima knows all too well after losing her best friend. I was like, I'm going to find a song. We're going to sing it together because we always sing together. We are always, we will always dance together. Such a tragedy, Riel. Back out here live in Northwest Miami Dade. Now, counselors again will be in school present today and tomorrow. Meanwhile, my photographer and I have had tons of people, dozens of people come out to us and talk to us about how dangerous this intersection is. We've even witnessed drivers going over the speed limit, which is 30. Reporting live, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News.